Jay Hatch has taught history over at Alleman High School for more than a quarter of a century. And along the way, he's had amazing success in both softball and basketball. In softball, the Pioneers have three state titles under Hatch, and they even won a state title in basketball as well. But as he takes over the Bettendorf program, he's not talking much about history. Most of them know me as Aaron's dad and Emily's dad, so um, I coached a little bit with them in the youth leagues, but uh, you know, it's just, you know, really, that, that stuff really is, doesn't matter to them too much. Mm -hmm. Talk about, you know, what the message has been, fundamentals, things like that, and, you know, you've got you to put, uh, put the pieces in place uh, where they belong. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, we've been, just been talking about trying to get better every day. Um, you know, we've, several of our uh, important players are track, track uh, kids, and, uh, you know, they've been busy till last weekend, which is a good thing. Um, but, you know, it's, a, it's a kind of a slow process getting everything together. Was this on the radar to come back to be a head coach or not? Uh, not at all. Um, when the job came open, um, then, it, then I thought about it. But uh, before that, no, I was content just to be watching from the stands. Mm -hmm. What convinced you? I mean, what, what stirred inside you, you think? Um, the, the fact that there was, there was an opening that needed to be filled and, um, you know, it's kind of a natural fit. I've been, like I said, I've been with these, a lot of these kids some anyway. A lot of them think of him as, oh, that's Aaron's dad. He's always been to all of our games, but I don't think they realize, like, all the championships and stuff that he's won, like, the things that he's accomplished. Is it pretty clear the way he handles practice that this guy's been around, right? Yeah, he it's very to the point. He doesn't deal with really fooling around. Like, he wants to get in and out. He wants to have everything be most efficient as possible. How much do girls want that, too? I think the girls do. They don't want to be here for four hours a day. You know, like they want to get in here, put in the good work, the good swings, and get out of here just like he does. Do you head into this uh, differently than uh, 26 years ago or whatever it was? Oh, uh, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Um, too old to get nervous. Um, things hurt more, <laughs> but uh, you know, throw, don't throw batting practice or anything like that. But uh, yeah, it's just, you know, I think it's like anything else. When you've done it a long time, it's. Um, not routine, but you uh, sort of have a feel for what you want to do. How about FCA camp? Doesn't that sound like fun? That sounds like lots of fun. Hey, for more information, you can contact me or check out our website at IllawaFCA.org. This is the FCA Story of the Week. He's Dan Pearson. <laughs> One take. You're unbelievable. <laughs> that usually takes me like five tries.